This is Twit. The new standard, the CCC, Mrs. Higginbotham, that I saw oh, yeah. on your website, and I wanted to actually hear you talk about it with ultra wide band and cars. Uh, I don't. Okay, so this is the car. Let me not make. Car let me key. make sure I'm not making. So Apple, Apple yes. has their own car key thing. And only one manufacturer to date has adopted it after two years, and that's BMW. Um, I have so a Ford that allows me to use my phone as key. They call it phone as a key or P-A-A-K. And it, since it doesn't work 100% of the time, it's a non-starter, mm -hmm. right? Because if, you're, if you can't get into your car, then you go back and you get the key. Or and if you're in, in, And as I got locked out once for about an hour and a half, uh, that's you only make that mistake once, but I'm hoping yeah, that this new thing at a time or two in her store. Yeah, I'm yeah, this yeah. New if thing you want work. me to tell you what it's about, yeah. <laughs> well, I just wanted <laughs> so to set it up. So it's a car connectivity. <laughs> okay, yeah, and I and I also have a my I use my phone as a key as a key with my Tesla. Yeah, but Tesla always offers doesn't that work. Too. Yeah, it doesn't work if you're in like let's say a parking garage and there are lots of cars on top of you because it can't call out to the server, and it oh, doesn't oh, work oh. when Tesla's servers are down and you can't get into the app. This is different. This is local on the phone. This is done by the Car Connectivity Consortium. And right now, the goal of this is to use ultra wideband in like Pixel or Samsung or Apple phones and a Bluetooth, the secure link with Bluetooth to pass the, the ultra wideband determines that you are near the car and exactly where in relation to the car you are. So inside, outside, close enough to open the doors, et cetera, et cetera. And that data is passed over Bluetooth to open the car door. And the key itself is stored on a special, it's a special enclave, it's a secure enclave, but it's, it's a dedicated one on the phone. It only does the car key. So that's important to know. And the forum has members that include Apple, Google, BMW, uh, Rivian, Samsung, Volkswagen, uh, Ford, General Motors, Honda, Hyundai, Mercedes-Benz, and Mercedes-Benz. So not everybody, but a good smattering of vehicles. It's a lot. And they, the standard versions of the standard, I think we're on version 3.0. I could be wrong on which version we're on, but it's only going to start coming out probably in a, like the next year or two, you're going to see it start rolling out. So they just completed a plug fest at the end of March over at the Google HQ where they proved all this out. And so the OEMs are now like, they're like, okay, this is working. They figured out like in for a user, the experience isn't that you have, you will leave your phone in your pocket. You don't have to have the app. It's all going to be local. So it should work 100% of the time if you have your phone in your car together, right? And your mm -hmm. phone is charged. If your phone is not charged, I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, for I, instance, I read this and I wondered about the whole, because wasn't there like an NFC thing with this many years ago where people just had these little cards in their wallet They're, or purse or what have you, and it usually, and it pretty much just used NFC as they got near the vehicle to let them in? Yes, and ultra wideband is a little bit more high. It's a higher resolution, and it's uh, than NFC, and it can tell like if you're inside or outside. So, it knows more about you than just NFC, which is like NFC is like one to two inches away from the thing. So you've got to mm -hmm. take. It's like it's like tap to pay. Yeah. With UWB, it's you don't have to be as close. Although NFC has that advantage that you can't do this snarfing the hijacking that's happening with the Hyundai. That was my next question. And the key is, uh, <laughs> you know, you, 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 these powerful uh, wireless technologies can be stolen, in effect, uh, with little amplifiers. And I guess UWB might help. Because your UWB would, would say, well, he's not there. He's over there. Right. That's the theory. And there's, I mean, there are definitely, like, if you go on the CCC website, you will see tons of security papers. Like there's a lot of like- Yeah, they're paying like, attention to that. NXP yeah. has an entire like section on how they've secured. Like I'm not, Steve Gibson would be your guy to talk in Do you know that. if this is related to Apple's car key solution? Like if, uh, cause they're on the consortium. 
They are. Maybe they're usually what happens with Apple is they give code to the consortium. Right. So it might be that it is the same. I mean, it has to be sort of related because they are both UWB. Right. So my hunch is uh, this will not be a heavy And lift. Ford is a part of this. So I have a Ford Mustang. And the way Ford gets around phone as a key being not 100% reliable is, uh, and Fords have always had, or many Fords have had this, you have a car, a code on the door. So you can open the door with a code, a passcode. And then if you your phone can't start the car, it, there's a password. You give your car a password that you enter, and then your car will start. So there is a backup solution. Um, and you, I guess you'd have to have that for any one of these. You know, on, you know, these fobs are very expensive. When when I got my Ford, they only gave you one fob because they said, oh, no, you don't have to worry about it because you are you can have up to five phones be the key. And then it was so unreliable. Yeah, the next fobs. time I brought my car in, they gave me a second. They said, Ford told us to give everybody another fob. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it just is, it doesn't, people were complaining about it. It doesn't work well. I hope this, uh, I hope this takes off. Is Tesla on this? Yeah, no, it's... Tesla's not. Nope. Tesla's you know, always going to go on. their own way. They're always going to go their own way, aren't they? You don't mention them. I, Ford, General Motors, I Honda, okay. Hyundai, Mercedes, Benz, and Volkswagen. And something called Denso. Okay. I don't know what that is. Denso is an automotive parts manufacturer. Okay. They're a okay. And Apple, BMW, Continental Automotive, Google, Oppo, Rivian, and Samsung. Those are the other participants. According to uh, this article from... The wonderful Stacey This article Higgins. that Stacy wrote. <laughs> Stacy wrote IoT. Uh, I, I mean, this is a great idea. It was sad that Apple's car key only got in, uh, adopted by one manufacturer and only on some of their cars, the higher-end BMWs. Well, and if you're a BMW, I mean, if you're a car maker, why would you only work with yeah. Apple phones? Right. I mean, that's right. they did, car makers did not want to get in. They didn't want, I mean, look at CarPlay and Android Auto, Auto Android. I mean, look at how poorly that right. has gone for them. So right. that makes sense. And it is, oh, it is digital key 3.0. So, so this, the other thing that this does much like, uh, did, is, is it the same, is digital key the same as the door key spec? Door key. For your, because you, one of the things you can do if you have digital keys for your home is send it to somebody, a oh. temporary key. You can share it. Uh, and they show that on their website that the Car Connectivity Consortium, you could grant access oh, yes. to a vehicle, so, things like that. Now that's all through the. So part of the standard is things like titling. So when you change your, uh, when you sell your car, you can uh, give some. You you basically lose access to it on your device and give it over to right. somebody else. But you There's could give a temporary fleets. access to a, a repair person. Yes, a that's for driver or a friend. I know that yes, because that they have a whole Tesla is very, very conspicuously absent from this list of <laughs> auto manufacturers. Okay. Of course, there you go. Yeah, yeah. they don't do CarPlay or Android Auto either. Yeah, no. And it took me forever just to get Spotify, but now I have it. Yeah, and the the idea, according to the guy I talked to from the CCC. C, 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 um, who is also at BMW, he was like, "Yeah, the idea is that this will be." A feature for the car now it won't be like a subscription feature like sometimes you know like remote start or heated seats because i was worried that this would be something i'd have to pay monthly for but this is something they want to kind of replace key fobs with oh and so. you're right the digital key that that this they started with was nfc based that was mm -hmm. three years ago and digital key plus is now you at uwb so that's in so you you're right yeah. they, it was NFC. yeah i was just curious like yeah. why go from nfc because it was working but she explained it with the higher resolution right you gotta be so close so close and so close <laughs> hey what's going on everybody i am Ant pruitt and i am the host of hands-on photography here on twit tv i know you got yourself a fancy smartphone you got yourself a fancy camera but your pictures are still lacking can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means watch my show i got you covered want to know more about just the i ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that too. So check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today.